Here we go, everybody. Tesla, we have a zero IR. We had call options on Tesla this morning. We waited. We got hit. We applied a stop loss, and Tesla is trading down to 667, meaning that Tesla is down $41. We can see where the reversal was as we were going through the trade with the chart. It pulls back. It was holding support. Tesla breaks down. It holds support. Then we have a consolidation, which was a near term. And remember, it's a three-minute chart. So when it was popping out, it had started its breakout. And usually eight out of ten times, you're going to go right back up to the high. But what happened was we kept a stop loss on the trade right here and if we didn't then the stop loss would have been a lot bigger so we have the call options we applied the stop right here on this bar when that rally failed and the breakout did not continue then we exited the $700 calls with the stop loss and now we're looking for new entries on the 660 calls and that's exactly what we're doing. So when we take a look at the actual options market, we can clearly see that the 660 call was $64 on the high, just printed $37 on the low, okay? The $700 calls, the ones that we had, we kept the stop loss and came out of these when the chart told us when the math said it wasn't going to work and it was going to go lower, then we immediately kept the stop loss, and the stop loss was right around $800, but it would have been $1,800, $42 is the high on the contract on the 700s and we do like them when they get really super cheap because we'll buy them the day that uh, we're going to pop so when we take a look at the actual tesla chart again we always just want to remember one thing we want to remember the directional price movement it's a friday option expiration on tesla so now what we're going to do with Tesla, when Tesla is ready to pop off of the bottom, that'll probably be on Monday. But what we'll do is we'll let it set up from here and then look at our newest entry will be the 660 call or the 650 call, which could pay us $3,000 when Tesla wants to go higher. Now, the market and the volatility itself got outrageously high there was a bunch of sellers that hit this market much people were unloading stocks and tesla was one and the news about the twitter news and uh mr musk uh and is he selling the stock to raise capital so our system we came out of the trade right here and now we're hitting another support level but when we take a look at the IR range, it's only six, and that equals a very, very weak bottom for now. We'll have to sit and monitor how much the bottom will come up, but that IR remains at three and four. That's as weak price as you're going to get. So the system said to come out of this trade right there, so when we rallied up, and we that was a three-minute doji, I'll pull up the reversal on Tesla. On that point, at that point, when we had that red bar right there, we exited our trade, and we took our stop loss. Stop losses are your friend. So a $800 stop, which is fine because that's easy to make up on the next upside as we see the bottom being put in. But that stop loss could have turned into $1,800 stop loss. 
And so knowing when to exit is the key when you have a call option and the market's not going the right way with Tesla and it's failing breakouts and applying the stop, knowing when to apply the stop, take your loss at that point because taking that loss before it would become a much bigger loss and this is an attempted bottom okay and he can tick right up here so we're going to monitor it for the rest of the friday trading session and we're going to look for the opportunities and see where the lows are and see exactly what the heartbeat of tesla will be for the remaining of the friday closing weekly bell and we'll be updating all the indexes as well so nonetheless, I don't see any breakouts with Tesla. And when we take a stop loss and the patterns have not set up, then we'll remain on the sideline for the next best entry. And that's exactly what we'll do. And we priced it out pure mathematically. And it was a good thing that the uh, Daily Stock Charts app told us to exit the $700 call before it got a lot worse. And here we are making new lows. So once again, knowing when to get out of the way and get the next best entry. Once the sellers are out, then we'll buy it and it will go up $30, $40. Just that simple. That's how Tesla trades. But we can see that on the intraday morning, and the time stamp is uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and the date, as we know it, is 520 with Tesla. So that is the time stamp of this video, and you can see that the lesson is learn to take the stop loss before it gets really bad and knowing when to exit when it's not going to work. We gave it room and we did. Uh, this stock was acting extremely well up here and we waited for it. It comes down. That was a very sharp drop right in here. On the recovery, we take out the exit and exit the $700 call with our stop loss and then the, would have dropped another 10 points in the 15 more points. Well, that would be an additional $1,500 loss if you would have held on to this trend. This is trying to put a bottom in, but that's what the trend structure on an options expiration Friday is. And basically, this is the training video of the live trade on Tesla. And this is what a bottom looks like at this particular time frame. Remember the timestamp on the video.